According to the Keystone Research Center, three quarters of a million Pennsylvanians earn less than $15 an hour. Pennsylvania's minimum wage of just over $7 an hour ranks well below Delaware's minimum wage of over $13 and New Jersey's at over $15 an hour. CBS News Philadelphia's Eve Anderson shares why many are feeling hopeful following Governor Shapiro's state budget address. Today, Governor Shapiro repeated his promise to raise Pennsylvania's minimum wage to $15 an hour. Some Pennsylvanians still make less than half, and some we spoke with say anything less than 15 simply isn't enough to survive. We already did it. I mean, again, uh... At Katie's Covered Food Pantry on Howard Street, each box of food is a delivery of hope. It's helping out with the community because we got a lot of low income people. Harold Santos Sanchez knows that personally. Before volunteering at Katie's Cupboard, he came seeking a meal. At less than 15 an hour, his job in loss prevention didn't afford him food security. I had to go through the struggle. I had to basically look for where can I get food. Santos Sanchez represents the 776,000 Pennsylvanians making less than 15 an hour, according to the Keystone Research Center, something Governor Josh Shapiro hopes to change. It is time we raise our minimum wage to $15 an hour here in Pennsylvania. Tuesday at his budget address, Governor Shapiro adding the current minimum of $7.25 is hurting the state's economy. We have seen proof that Pennsylvania workers living in border counties would rather drive into another state for work so they can earn a higher wage than take a job at home in Pennsylvania. State Republicans, on the other hand, say they're willing to compromise on the issue of minimum wage, but neither side has been able to come to an agreement yet. Uh, you're, not, you're not even listening to me. Back at Katie's Cupboard. I'll be helping out with the, with the food bank. Santos Sanchez believes higher wages are only one piece of the puzzle. Having the minimum wage increase is a plus, but the living cost is the one that needs to stay down. Coming up at 6, we'll introduce you to a faith community advocating for a $15 minimum wage and where they say they're facing some resistance. Eva Anderson, CBS News, Philadelphia. Well, that's not the only big proposal in the governor's budget. He wants to invest $1.1 billion in new funding for K-12 through public schools across the Commonwealth. Shapiro also proposed spending $100 million on violence reduction efforts, and he wants to give SEPTA another $161 million. The governor says that would prevent service cuts and fare hikes on the transit system.